Keep up, guys. Look over there. This is Dolphin. Dolphins communicate using various methods, including sound, body movements, and gestures. They often use sound to interact with other dolphins and to respond to their environment, such as using clicks, whistles, and other sounds. Body movements like leaping, head shaking, or displaying teeth can also be part of their communication. This is Garfish. Apart from their large size, one of the characteristics that differentiates alligator fish from other gar fish is their teeth. Their teeth are super sharp and resemble needles. In each jaw there are two rows of teeth, with the outer row of teeth tending to be longer and larger than the inner row of teeth. The main thing is, don't get bitten by this fish. There is a clownfish. Clownfish, or commonly known as Nemo fish, can generally live in aquariums as long as the aquarium environment meets their needs. They require a sufficiently large tank with clean water, stable temperature, and the provision of hiding places. Additionally, they often live in a symbiotic relationship with certain species of sea anemones, which should also be present in their aquarium. This is a blue spotted ray. Blue spotted rays are distributed in tropical waters, at a depth of 30 meters, ranging from the Indian Ocean to South Africa, from the Arabian Peninsula to Southeast Asia, including Madagascar, Mauritius, Zanzibar, Sizalensa, Sri Lanka and the Maldives. Rarely found in the Persian Gulf and Gulf of Oman. There is an octopus. Octopuses are solitary creatures that tend to prefer living alone. They can be aggressive towards smaller fish and tend to prey on smaller fish around them. So, it's generally not recommended to keep octopuses with other fish in an aquarium as it can lead to conflicts and pose a danger to the fish. This is mouth bass. Large mouth bass, also known as the Queensland grouper, is generally aggressive when it comes to hunting for food. They often hide in coral crevices or among rocks, waiting for their prey to appear. Giant groupers are also known as effective predators, utilizing their size and strength to catch fish and other marine creatures. There is a jellyfish. Jellyfish typically hunt for food using their long, slimy tentacles. They detect prey with the help of special sensory organs called ropalia. Once they detect prey, they capture it by sticking their tentacles to it and then bring it to their mouth to eat. Jellyfish can also catch prey by drifting with ocean currents. This is squid. The behavior of squid can vary depending on the species, but generally, they are known to be intelligent and adaptable creatures. They are often active at night when hunting for food and can utilize their camouflage abilities to hide from predators. Some species are also known for their ability to communicate using patterns of light and body movements. There is lobster. The large claws of a lobster are used to grasp and crush food. Lobsters are predatory animals that use their claws to capture and break down prey such as fish, shellfish, or small mollusks. The claws also serve as a defensive tool. Lobsters can use their claws to protect themselves from predators or other threats by tightly closing them. This is a hermit crab. Hermit crab are typically active at night because it's when their environment is quieter and there are fewer predators roaming around. Additionally, the air temperature tends to be cooler at night, making it more comfortable for snails to be active compared to the hotter daytime. This is a natural adaptation for them to maximize opportunities for foraging and activities without too much disturbance. This is Mosasaurus. 
Mosasaurus is a type of prehistoric marine reptile that is now extinct, and like other animals, they tend to live socially with members of their species. However, as with many animals, the ability of individuals to survive independently can vary depending on environmental conditions and specific circumstances. If Mosasaurus is able to obtain sufficient food and avoid danger, they may be able to survive on their own for a period of time. This is Lemon Shark. Lemon sharks are a protected species and are vital for maintaining the balance of the marine ecosystem. Instead, there are many better ways to support conservation and marine sustainability, such as advocating for protective policies, avoiding products that use endangered species, and educating others about the importance of preserving marine biodiversity. There is a puffer fish. Because pufferfish move slowly and are brightly colored, other predators can easily eat them. To overcome this, pufferfish will inflate themselves by taking air from their stomachs three times larger than their body size and protruding their spines so that they do not become food for predators. This is blue whale. Even though they are considered the largest animals on earth, it turns out that blue whales don't have teeth. But it has baleen. Baleen itself is a kind of fiber that functions to filter food. When a blue whale eats, it will take in as much water as possible, then the food will get caught in the baleen fibers before being swallowed. Well, this is starfish. Starfish typically move by using their tentacles or arms that adhere to the seabed. They can also move by contracting and expanding their bodies or by utilizing the water currents around them. Some types of starfish can also propel themselves using their water vascular system called the ambulacral system. This is a moray eel. Moray eels, like many other marine species, reproduce through a process called spawning, where the female releases her eggs and the male fertilizes them in the water. However, Specific details about the mating behavior of moray eels, such as mating rituals or the roles of each gender, may vary depending on the species. This is Ammonite. Ammonite lived throughout the seas and swam by squirting water in one direction, to push themselves along. Ammonites appeared 425 million years ago and were very common ocean animals throughout the age of the dinosaurs. This is gulper eel. Male gulper eels generally have larger eyes than females. Scientists believe that males can meet females mainly because males follow the scent of pheromones released by females, but the ability of pelican eels to produce light at the tip of their tail is also used to attract the attention of the opposite sex to reproduce. There is spotted eagle ray. Spotted eagle rays can be found in the Indo-Pacific region, the West Pacific region, the Indian Ocean and the Southwest Atlantic Ocean. They usually live in shallow waters with coral reefs and a maximum depth of 80 meters. They spend their time swimming freely in open water. They are generally found in warm waters throughout the world. This is Gernard Fish. The flying gurnard fish is a unique species of fish that has wings and legs. This fish is one of the species Dactylopterus volatans, a type of fish that lives at the bottom of the ocean. The name gurnard for this fish comes from the French word gurnard, which means purr, because this fish is known to make a sound like a snoring sound. This is a Dacophotiformer. Decapodiforms is a superorder of cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. This is a crayfish. Crayfish walk forward, but they can also move backwards only when swimming by using their abdominal movements. Uniquely, they can swim backwards very quickly. And this species will molt at the end of June. 
They usually eat old shells to regain the calcium and phosphate contained within. Thank you for watching guys, see you next video.